Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we will cover the stock Cosmos Health, trading under the ticker symbol COSM. The market has been volatile recently with many equities up and down. Many people are interested in Cosmos Health because of the short squeeze potential and in this video, we will take a look at the stock from a technical and fundamental perspectives and determine what could be a recommended course of action to carry out Cosmos Health. If you appreciate my content, please consider to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, please check out the links in the description below, as every help is greatly appreciated. At the moment, Cosmos Health, COSM, has been retracing a little bit, having tested the $7 level recently, and currently attempting to consolidate around the $5 level. Over the past few days, the stock went down by 9%, and the upward momentum was temporarily put on hold. When we move to the 30 days tendencies, COSM has been bouncing back from the previous sell-off phase with a rebound of still more than 17%, despite the recent hesitation. The price action of Cosmos Health has been going through a lot, with a lot of ups and a lot of downs, and some clear attempts to go higher. The latest one has definitely succeeded, even though the older ones did not. The current price action suggests that the bulls are wondering whether it is time for them to continue pushing, even if, fundamentally speaking, there might not be that much material to push for. For the time being, I would say that we should expect to see Cosmos stabilizing around $5, and as long as the bullish momentum exists, the sky is the limit as far as the price action goes with the region between $3 and $5 as critical support. I believe that the current moment could be a decent entry point, assuming that the stock has a lot of room of growth ahead of us. Cosmos Health is an international healthcare group based in Chicago, selling nutraceuticals. They also commercialize generic medications. They have a commercial presence throughout Europe, Middle East, and Asia, and of course, North America. The company has an emphasis on nutraceutical research, development, and commercialization because of the low risk profiles and regulatory clarity in this area. I should also mention that the management believes that the stock now has solvency issues, putting its going concern into jeopardy. The management mentioned that due to the recurring losses, there will be eventually a going concern issue to be put on the table. They believe that there can be a few solutions that must be considered for the company's survival, including debt issuance, diluting the shareholders, or reconstructing the debts. In other words, reducing the money going out and increase the money coming in. The company probably chose the road of selling the equity, taking the advantage of the renewed interest recently from retail shareholders due to the expected short squeeze and the price increase that soon followed. The long-term price action has been plagued by poor results, as well as the short orders piling up against it, causing the stock price to plummet for a period of time. For the period between August and November of 2022, the stock price declined by more than 83% before recovering back a bit. Over the past few years, it mostly traded between the high tens and lower three digits. Obviously, if we only look at the whole situation from a technical perspective, it looks like a historical opportunity to buy in now and to wait for a recovery. I don't believe that we are in this context anymore, as the market and the company are now evolving in a different environment. With that being said, we should be able to see some significant recoveries nonetheless due to the short squeeze as if it were to occur. Although the relevance of the financials are limited at the current point, they can tell us how the company is doing, especially regarding the going concern and the long-term perspectives. Regarding the profitability, things are on the stagnating side, as both the revenue and gross margins are having a very hard time growing, with the operating expenses still hovering between 2 to $3 million. This means that if Cosmos Health is popular with shareholders, people are looking at the potential of making money beyond its fundamental results, if we assume that things would remain constant. Now, if we have to find good news in its financial statements, it would probably be that liability is being under control. 
you know, it's been controlling between 40 to 45 millions away from the peak of 51 millions back in Q4 of 2021. This means that the company is trying its best to keep things under control. Another thing that we can see is that the company's assets are almost entirely financed by debts, with a relatively small portion of the operations financed by equity. This means that Cosmos can have a significant amount of obligatory cash outflows, and if they don't comply with those, they can go insolvent, with the assets liquidated to reimburse the creditors, and then the leftovers, whatever that may be, could be zero, goes to the equity shareholders. The cash situation for Cosmos is also negative, with most of the cash inflows from financing. This is from, of course, the issuance of debt and sometimes sale of equity. It also confirms the remarks earlier regarding debt versus equity financing, as well as the obligatory cash outflows. The situation of Cosmos overall is not looking very good, which could be the reason why it has a large position shorting against it. This can reinforce my feeling that Cosmos is a good stock for trading, but not necessarily for investing. The low cash levels suggest that a company can have a lot of problems going forward without stock dilutions or debt issuance. Now, let's also take a look at the shareholder composition of the company. According to Fintel, currently we're all retail traders holding the stock. If this were true, then we would be looking at the stock that is obviously good for volatilities and short-term swing trades, but the uncertain future of the stock itself and the company itself would mean that the short-term outlook could be very volatile and not always upward. One key behavioral difference between institutional and retail shareholders is their investment horizon. Institutional shareholders tend to take a long-term view with a focus on the company's fundamentals and growth perspectives. They're also less likely to engage in short-term behavior and less affected by the market volatility as well. Another behavioral difference is that they are more active in corporate governance. They tend to vote more on important decisions and during the shareholders' meeting, whereas many retail traders and investors would tend not to bother because the number of shares they have is way too little to affect anything if they understand the issues at stake at all. In fact, Cosmos Health has a massive appeal, mostly because people believe that there can be a short squeeze. Short squeezes are what shareholders hope to achieve by piling up in a stock that is massively shorted to force the short sellers to redeem their positions, therefore buying the stock back. They are very often compelled to do so because as long as those positions remain open, they have to pay financing fees eroding away their profits and also have to assume the risk of infinite losses. In the case of Cosmos, there's a large position of shares been shorted against it, taking more than 1.3 days to cover. This means that if the shares were to skyrocket, whether because the fundamentals have improved or if the circumstances surrounding it have changed, or that the demand for the stock increased with no fundamental reason, this can force the short sellers to redeem their positions. I believe that Cosmos has a significant possibility to squeeze, at least for the moment. It is very important to remember that short interest doesn't guarantee the result, but nevertheless, it can be a very important metric to monitor. It's also worth considering that short sellers have valid reasons for their bearish sentiment for most of them, and that a short squeeze may not happen regardless of how many stars are being aligned. Based on the analysis, I would recommend to start buying Cosmos shares over a period of six to eight weeks, and to hold it for around 30% to 50% from the cost, and to liquidate at least part of your position once we reach at least $10. I believe that COSM deserves to have a place in your portfolio if the risk tolerance is high and if the holdings are diversified. The best approach in this case would be to smooth out the short-term volatilities by buying in small batches over time. I would recommend an exposure of around 1% of your portfolio, 